Hey, we're just here, my guy. back to another video for episode review. And if you saw this one, go and check it out. And this is another good episode. And it starts with Phineas and Ferb looking at some bro some blueprints. And of course, Candace is telling them not to do anything crazy and do something that you would see kids do. And yeah, Ferb has this picking nose and they are invention. And Stacy is, is of course upset with Candace of how she's just. You know, of her obsession with trying to bless Phineas and Ferb. And see, Stacy tells Candace that she's got to choose between her or busting. Her best friend or busting. And, yeah, of course, Candace is just wanting to bust Phineas and Ferb. W wanting to bust Phineas and Ferb. And, yeah, Perry is like a plumber. And Doofensmirch traps Perry with toilet paper. Out of all things, he traps him with toilet paper. And so is all this paper, newspaper he got for this anator, which... Yeah, Candace then sees that they're actually... They actually took her advice of doing a lemonade stand, which... Yeah, they never actually done a lemonade stand before, and I like that. Them actually doing a lemonade stand. And Candace is like that she has the free day off now. And yeah, we see this giant machine that is making the lemonade. And yeah, D Doofin Smirch unveils this video of sewing the birth in an anator and <laughs> sewing this paper cut like a nader and sewing this weird like face of Doofin Smirch. And Candace is trying to get somebody else like. Jenny to come with her to the mall, but no, she's protesting of saving the pigeons, and Candace is looking through her phone of people to call, Jeremy, Stacy, her mom, Jenny, even Buford is on there, which of course she deletes, and she says she only has four friends, and one of them is her mom, and we see these two girls just passing by Candace, and yeah, Phineas and Ferb are actually expanding their lemonade stands, and Lupin Smurfs is getting ready to fire his machine. And yeah, we just see Candace just saying everything that reminds her of Stacy, and just to, not even noticing all the billboards with Phineas and Ferb. And she goes to drink some lemonade, and thinking that she should just apologize to. Stacy, which, yeah, she sees Stacy, but she sees her mom, and she's not knowing who to go to. And Perry escapes, and Doofensmurse gets trapped, or stuck, and Perry drops a plunger to clog the machine, and it explodes and gives Doofensmurse all this paper cuts. And even the machine at the, um... The machine in the backyard gets a paper cut, and is the lemon juice squirting and in, are coming into the cut part. Oh, I know it's I know it's a machine that Phineas and Ferb made, but ouch! Again, that just you know how that would be though when you have a cut and you have something like that that would get in it. Ow! And yeah, of course it starts m malfunctioning and. Yeah, they stop the lemonade, and Candace goes to the mall with Stacy, and their mom is wondering what they've been doing today, and we end it with Vanessa saying about this new lemonade stand, and accidentally trips on some of the paper, and ends up spilling the lemonade into all, into, onto Doofensmurf that ends up with all the paper going into the cuts that he has and of course he blames Perry even though he wasn't there but he said that somewhat it seems like he was somewhat involved with it but yeah I'd like to know what y'all think let me know across the spoke see you next one